praise our Lord and his greatest strength. Praise ye the Lord, for the Lord is good. The reading is from the Acts of the Holy Apostles. In those days, many signs and wonders were done among the people by the hands of the apostles, that they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. None of them rest dare to join them, but the people magnified them, and more than ever believers added to the Lord multitudes of both men and women, so that they even carried out the sick into the streets and laid them on the beds and pallets, that as Peter came by, at least his shadow might fall on some of them. The people also gathered from the cities around Jerusalem, bringing the sick and those afflicted with unclean spirits, and they were all healed. But the chief priest rose up, and all who were with him, that is, the sect of Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, they laid their hands on the apostles and put him in the common prison. But at night an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and brought them out and said, Go and stand in the temple and speak to the people all the words of this life. According to St. John. Let us attend. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be to you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then their disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be to you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see his hands and the print of nails and place my finger in the mark of the nails and place my hand in the side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in his house, and Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be to you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, but believing. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God, Jesus said to him, Thomas. You have believed because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which not are written in this book, but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. 